At the end of the week, new laws going into effect, including one that is already impacting our community. It's an initiative that lays out new rules for immigrants here in Florida. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live in Tampa with more on a rally against the law and why the governor says it's needed. Yeah, you know, this new law, it really has a list of requirements for not only immigrants, but employers as well. And there are some people who believe this can really cause some problems for those that are just trying to come here to give their families a better life. And that is why there were some protesters that gathered about half a dozen of them yesterday. They made up some signs. They stood at the corner of Cortez Road in Bradenton, making their feelings known about the new law. So here's what the law will do. It'll require employers to use e-verify to check a person's employment eligibility. And anyone who knowingly hires an illegal immigrant will have their license suspended. Also, using a fake ID to get a job, that would be a felony. Here's what Governor DeSantis had to say back in May when he signed the bill. We made that promise. We said that we were going to go big. Uh, and today we deliver on that promise by signing Senate Bill 1718. And even the New York Times admitted this is the strongest legislation against illegal immigration anywhere in the country. Now, this new law will also set aside $12 million to fund the unauthorized alien transport program, which basically flies illegal immigrants to sanctuary jurisdictions. Now, the group that protested this weekend says that they have plans to protest across the state of Florida all this week, leading up to when that new law takes effect on Saturday, July 1st. Live in Tampa, Jenny Dean, 10 Tampa Bay.